Okay, we're going to use this kit that we put together to refill Soda Stream's 130 liter cylinder. We're going to use a mirror scale so that we can determine the tear weight on the bottle. And here's the, uh, the filling kit. This detaches. It has a gauge on it so we can see what the pressure is of the CO2. This is the fill station 2. It's a 20 pound cylinder. So the first thing we're going to do is connect this to the bottle. Nice and tightly, hand tight. Put this on the scale. We have a hose and this fixture and the bottle. And we're going to determine the tear weight. It says 58.3 ounces. Just going to press that one time and then it's going to zero out to a 0, 0.0 ounce and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chill the bottle so I'm going to turn this down a half a turn, three quarters of a turn make sure this is tight, this is tight this is the fill valve, this is the um, purge valve and this is the main valve to the tank so these two are both closed, this is open I'm going to open that up and I'm going to open this up and put about four ounces of CO2 in the bottle so we can chill the bottle. And I'm going to watch the... There we go. Two ounces, three ounces, four ounces. I'm going to turn that down. This is engaged so that the, the pin has been depressed. Now I'm going to open this valve. It's 5.4 ounces, so I'm going to let that purge off. And as the liquid CO2 in the bottle evaporates as it's coming out the purge valve, this is going to chill down. You can see this frost forming on here um, as the bottle chills. The purpose for chilling the bottle is so that we can add as much CO2 as possible into a cold bottle rather than a hot bottle. Two ounces, 1.9 ounces, eight, seven, see how this is chilling down? It's got a frost on it. Condensation is forming on the outside here. I can actually feel ice. And get that right down to zero. Pressure here is down to about zero. You really don't need a pressure gauge, but I like to have it on there just so I can tell if it's pressure if the hose is pressurized or not. Okay, we're down to about so now it is empty. This, the engagement. So we're going to close this off. This is open. And now I'm going to open this up and fill it up to 33 ounces. If you can hear that. Notice the bottle shaking a little bit because liquid CO2 is going in there and splashing. <laughs> 7 ounces, 9 ounces, 10 ounces, 12 ounces. It should get to about 25 ounces and then stabilize the pressure. But there's no pump. It's just 800 pounds of pressure here and this started at zero. Uh, when this gets to 800 pounds of PSI, then it's going to stabilize and stop. 25 ounces, 26, 27, I'm watching the gauge here. It gets to 33, we stop. 31, 32, 33. Alright, turned out to be 33.5, which is okay. 
So this is closed, this is closed, close this valve. And then we're going to op we're going to open this valve so that the tank is no longer engaged. And I want to purge the line. Take the pressure out of the line. Okay, so now the line is empty. And now I can unscrew this in the tank safely. This line has been purged. And now we have a full tank. And that, uh, that's as simple as that. I'm filling the tank. The Bed Bath & Beyond to fill this tank costs $30. Uh, since I can buy 20 pounds of CO2 for $25, this now this costs me about $2.50 to fill it instead of $30.